Hello, my friends. Uh, like you, I'm deeply uh, puzzled by Donald Trump. So the video asked me to tell you who, whether I voted for him in 2016. I did not. Um, and I actually was tempted to vote for him after the impeachment trial because he seemed to demonstrate some humility and temperance, which I had not seen before. And I think we were all hoping for tr Trump 2.0 at that point. But with the uh, law and order speech and the tear gassing of peaceful protesters, uh, I just could not bring myself to vote for a man who was doing precisely what the Chinese are doing in Hong Kong. So was and is globalism our greatest existential threat? Yes. Do I agree with Trump's policies? Yes. Am I concerned that Donald Trump could destroy the Republican brand? Yes. Do I worry that Ruth Bader Ginsburg will retire and be replaced by Joe Biden should he win? Yes, I do. But, you know, this too shall pass and we could recover from all that. The question is, will the Republican Party endure? And so that's what, in my mind, the reason I did not vote for Donald Trump in, in 16 wasn't because I didn't agree with him, but it was because of a headline I read in a newspaper where he's uh, where he said, and I watched him, you know, the videotape as well, where he said he did not believe that adultery is a crime, uh, or rather he didn't believe it was a sin. He thought people shouldn't do it. But of course, as we all know, he did it many times, and uh, I just can't vote for someone. I, I didn't like Bill Clinton for the exact same reason, so I believe I'm being consistent. In any case, I will probably vote again for Pence unless Kanye West gets some traction and then I'll vote for Kanye. Good luck on your choice.